Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, sorry it's been a while since my last video. Um, combination of been really busy at work and I've had technical uh, issues with the camera and rendering uh, the video is finished. But anyway, let's get to this game. So it's um, Grey Knights and Imperial Guard uh, versus Tyranids. So it's a bit of an experimental list and uh, also the Tyranid player is trying a GCL Horde and see how that goes as well. Anyway, uh, we're playing from the new chapter approved missions. Um, so it's the Eternal War, Dominate and Destroy. And it's the Frontline Assault uh, deployment map. So we start deployment by going back and forwards uh, with our deep striking units. I have two Grandmaster Nemesis Dread Knights and a Chaplain. He has a Trigon Prime with 20 Gene Stealers, a Tyranocyte with 20 Gene Stealers, and a Tyranocyte with a Swarm Lord. I have to forgive the proxying of the Tyranocytes. My opponent is slowly going through his army, uh, repainting it all as he uh, bought a job lot army, um, badly painted, uh, so he hasn't got around to doing it all yet. And um, his is the red and bone colour scheme. I think the uh, Tron effects might be a proxy as well, um, I'm not quite sure. As you can see, he finishes deploying first. Uh, I do end up running the roll off to go first, which I opt to do. Um, I've had a few requests uh, to show the army close up, so here you go. Um, tank Commander in Punisher with Heavy Bolters, Eradicator, Heavy Flamers, Heavy Bolter, a few Bar Cannons, Infantry Squad with Flamer, Infantry Squad with Last Cannon, Tank Commander with Punisher and Plasmas, uh, Punisher Tank, and at the back, uh, Infantry Squad with Last Cannon. Is it 19 Gene Stealers with a Broodlord? Yep. A Neurothrope. Neurothrope. Uh, two separate Biovores. Biovores. That's a Tyranifex. Tyranifex. And we've got. So we've got Gene Stealers, 20 Gene Stealers coming in with the yep. tri tri Trigon Prime. Trigon Prime. 20 June Steelers coming in, especially with a borrowed drop pod. Borrowed drop pod and a swarm lord coming in with the. What's the name of them drop pods? Tyrannocyte or something? Tyranno drop pod, <laughs> one of those. Heck <laughs> on. So, with a dominate and destroy mission, you get a point for each objective you're holding at the end of your turn and a point for each unit uh, you wipe out. So I move the infantry squad up uh, to claim the two middle objectives and the tank command on the left goes flat out to claim that objective on the left. Then I uh, teleport in the Grey Knights near the objective on the right. That was a bit better than I thought I would do. So, um, yeah, Tran effects is dead. Tran effects is dead, so that was um, Vortex of Doom and then a few smites and then the, what killed it off was the psychic onslaught with his side cannon finished off the uh the Ghibli. um who blew up who blew up but also the biovores took three wounds apiece from vortex yeah and did. then he blew up and killed them too <laughs> and then yeah so the only thing left is this guy on three wounds. Three wounds. So the gene seals were a combination of everything else, wasn't it? Yeah. The this last cannon uh, killed the neurothrope. Yeah. He managed to get six on the two wound moments he failed in one of the save. And yeah. So that's I'm on eleven points. <laughs> End of turn one. Wow. Okay. Not a bad go, Dave, I don't think. Yeah, for you maybe. So the Broodlord moves across towards the Nemesis Dread Knights. Then he brings down his drop pods, the Tyranocytes. So we'll be bringing everything in with hopes of getting charges off uh, to rack up some points and claim some objectives.
So a quick look at the board after the tyranids have dropped down and tunneled up. What's his ability to move forward again? Hive Commander. So you use the Hive Commander to move forward, then charged uh, the Warlord, then just Dread Knight, so you tap twice as well with that, what's it called? Adrenaline, Adrenaline surge. surge. So he's down to two. He's down to six after the Brood Lord attacked him, which he killed. Um, they failed the charge. Yeah, they failed the charge, so the Gene Sealers. Um, you shot him with the yeah, Trigon. Trigon Prime, that's the one. So he lost a wound over that. He uh, failed the charge on that. Uh, they failed the charge on this, but no damage on him. And you got one point for that one objective. Yeah. So after both the Dread Knights had a lucky escape, uh, I fall back with those and leave the chaplain near the objective. So I'm up to 19 points. So Swarm Lord died to Lasguns. Lasguns. No, it was uh, it was, was a Las Cannon. Las Cannon. And is it this? This Punisher, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, the tank commander with the plasma. Um, went out. Then Gene Seal is leaving two. Which now need to make a leadership test. Now need to make a leadership test. So that they've run away. They lost 18. 18. So. Plus 5. At least you 9 though. Can we do the math on this? No. They have to okay. Uh, so, his other last cannon shot the, the Trigon Prime. Yes. Put wounds off him. How did we finish him off? What was that? Did you battle cannon him? Yeah. And then a battle cannon. Into him as well, finished him off, and then we had infantry squad, eradicator, and tank commander, punisher, finish off them gene stealers. So, um, was it 19 1? After turn 2. After turn 2. That was brutal. So, a grey knight and guard victory. So, we all know that the first turn is very important. Uh, quite lucky not to table him in the first turn, only three wounds left on his brood lord. Not making those charges with his gene stealers was massive, um, pretty much won me the game there. We both expected his swarm lord to perform better as well. Anyway, uh, the dice gods are on my side this game again. Please let me know what you thought, and also your thoughts on the new format with the uh, turn overview. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.